Hi, I'm Shauna Lee with Infinity Readings. I want to uh, thank everybody who's joined, liked, or subscribed to my page or my Facebook page. I have a Facebook page called Infinity Readings and Reviews. If you want kind of more of a personal insight into where my mind is going, and also access to free monthly readings, and I will be giving away like micro readings. I'll be on for an hour and just accept questions as they come. First come, first serve type thing. And then we'll go from there and see uh, what kind of demand that brings. But that's where you'll get access to that. And that's also where you'll get access if I decide to go outward with my readings. That's Infinity Readings and Reviews on Facebook. Click join. I'll add you in there and then just wait around and see what happens. A lot of times it's just a more personal view of what I get instinctively throughout the months that I'm not sending the videos out. I, sometimes I get intuitive downloads and I spit it out through the page or I just feel inspired to put you know a lot of uh, positive information in that way and that's where all the kind of the news that I get intuitively is, is just spewed out there. So <clears throat> I want to thank anybody who's already in there and who is uh, following me and I want to thank them for uh, their you know likes, likes subscribes for the comments I appreciate it as long as it's productive in some way I, I absolutely absorb that shit I get in there and I it actually makes a difference in how I proceed forward I do have uh, fluxes here and there where family and life gets in the way and usually I'll uh, everybody's been very accepting and graceful of that time so I appreciate that for all the people that are on there now I'm going to explain a little bit about the decks that I'm using. I have um, the two. I'm doing a two pyramid, male female split for my readings. I just I don't know came up with that on the fly. I'm using uh, I found masculine and feminine set, which I'm very stoked about. The Gods and Titans deck from Stacy DeMarco and the Goddesses and Sirens deck also from Stacy DeMarco. Those are the two, the male and the female that I use. I clarify the female deck with the whispers of love. And I'm going turning more into the love side of things. I was uh, clarifying with some grounded energy, but my decks kind of somehow disappeared, so I had to change it up. <laughs> so the whispers of love is really giving the insight to the female side, and then I'm using the um, love and sex tarot deck to give little harder edge to the God and Titans. <laughs> the male side, kind of looking into their sexual. Um, I don't know that they would pick up on the softer side of it anyway. I think it would be a little too fluffy. So I think the sexual edge that this tarot deck gives uh, is, is working very well. I think the energies are working very well. So that is uh, the, the decks that I'm using at this point. Uh, whatever you're dealing with from June 20th to September 22nd, that is the run time here that I'm forecasting for. There's a few themes that are running through. One of them is a sense of play. Keep that for the summer. Don't, don't get too serious. Uh, but those that are driven to need to, I guess. We need to keep, uh, keep love and compassion alive. And not only that, uh, go outward with it. So, happy summer to everyone. And on with the readings. This is the reading for Capricorn for the summer of 2017. I'll get right into the feminine energies. Uh, maybe the same, same direction, but new energy within that. So the next card I get is hope. So we have a lot of that fiery energy in the background of these two cards. New beginnings, setting you into action. Hope, bringing a sense of future, of longing for future. And a renewed hope. I get a sense from these feminines that they've been in positions where the hope is kind of stagnant. <laughs> not really been there, not really in support of that. So the hope is really something new as well as that new beginning. So it's kind of like a refreshment of everything, stirring up all the ashes from the bottom here of where we've been sitting in a little bit of a stew. So this is a good stirring note. The next card we get is inspiration. So they are feeling inspired course a new beginning with hope that brings inspiration it's all in a good flow <laughs> I'll keep going prosperity it's 
it's on the on the throes of the new beginning with the hope I'm feeling like the prosperity is starting to come in you're starting to cash in on that shit you know stuff's coming in and you're starting to see results which is also helping you insp inspire you to expand outward for more now I want more I'm starting to get a little bit so now I want more and that's the prosperity coming in so that's good brings it amplifies everything you know it seems like it, it sprung with the, the new beginnings and then we're just kind of getting into hope and um, the prosperity I think started coming in and that inspired them to keep going <laughs> and keep it moving the Capricorns are not going to stay in a situation for very long if they're not rewarded for it so they're seeing this and they're and it's expanding that energy that they want to take forward so we also have peace here and I feel like th that's huge. It's kind of off-center, but it's along with the hope and the inspiration, all the good positive parts. Um, the prosperity, too, is dragging everything. Um, like, I feel like the these women may have been on a trip. They may have been, uh, you know, kind of the world's been giving them wonderment. It's been giving them popcorn to kind of look. Do you see what's going on here? And so... Uh, bringing them out of, I wouldn't say a depression, but a very negative mindset as to where things could go and how your life could end up. Like, oh, it's all in the mundane. So they're kind of really getting a refreshment in, refresher course in that as well, positivity and, and hope for the future, as well as um, looking at things coming in in a positive way instead of going uh, towards the negative. So I feel like that peace is really coming from seeing that actually happen to them. Seeing it, feeling it, and acting upon it. So that's really a good energy that they've needed for quite some time. And it's going to feel very soothing. This peace that they're feeling is very soothing. They can start to relax a little bit. Because the world is suddenly not in chaos anymore. And they really don't understand why yet, I don't think. But they're going to figure it out. What you end up with is the cycles and that's the thing of trying to figure it out you're seeing that there's there's a little bit you're making some connections here and I'm not too sure if you're seeing the positive negative thing you're just looking at all the stuff around you and it's happening and blah, blah, blah. so you really have to get a little deeper dig your feet in a little deeper into the sand and look at how that cycle has triggered something not quite aware of that yet I don't see but it's coming I'm seeing the fall for sure by the end of the fall session you're gonna be on the on the way to going oh yeah I, I did that before and, and and putting things together really you're seeing results because you're kind of go, relaxing and going with the flow but you're not quite conscious of what it is you're doing <laughs> you're not quite aware of what it is that you're doing to make this happen but you're just happy that it's happening and going with the flow so that's really good it's kind of um, well it's obviously it's where you need to be but what I'm saying is it's kind of um, almost like you've you've kind of tripped up the cycle but not quite gone this far before not quite got the results before now you're getting the results and it's like yeah this is good but like I say now we got to go back and figure out where, where where did we go right here instead of wrong and what is right and wrong and what did I do in that way and figuring that sort of thing out so the cycles are the the end result here for the summer so at the end of the summer you're going to be looking and going okay there's something I did differently what is it and how do I do it again that's basically where you're going to end up the end of the summer so we're talking about June uh, 20th to September 22nd span I'm in Canada here that's our summers but it's June 20th to approximately September 22nd in that area so closer to the end uh, the middle of September is going to be when you you're going to be looking at the cycles going okay there's a difference here and there's a difference in my be you're putting it all together so I, I picked some love and romance cards and the one the first one I came up with was practice compassion so in your love and romance sector um, searching from a different perspective there may not have been a great wealth of knowledge in the compassionate area here for these Capricorns because they were in a negative cycle and that would transfer to every area that would transfer to love and and romance area so practice compassion 
you really have to kind of look and see where that comes from and, and dive into that a little bit. So if you get an understanding of what it's worth, then go outward with that. And the next card I get is slow down. When you're excited, you get ahead of yourself, take time to allow things to unfold. So, yeah, these Capricorns, um, especially the feminine energies, I'm getting very busy, very rushed, very flitting from here to there. They're feeling driven, and they're, and they're following guidance, but they're still not taking the time to themselves to kind of just chill on things. They feel there's no time. I, I can sleep when I'm dead. I'm going to go. And that's what they're doing. So they need to really kind of just chill out a little bit and in a spiritual manner look inside and go, why am I in this mode, you know, and what am I doing? You know, they're doing, but are they realizing in a spiritual way why they're doing what they're doing? Or are they just doing it because they feel driven? Um, and where's that drive coming from, you know, more deeply rooted? So they're feeling that flow and getting involved in it, but um, not sure they're learning the lessons that are coming with it. So if you don't learn the lessons, then you're going to get back into a different rut. So we have a new beginning, and we need to stay on top of that. There's hope, and there's, there's an, like I said, a newer sense of going a little further down the path than we normally have. So we got to just keep trudging with that. So the next card, or the last card we have for love and romance is, Love who you are. You are divine and a wonderful um, person, deserving of all the wonderful things that life has to offer. So that is, you know, that self, self-care, um, self-respect, and self-actualization, I think, is really figuring out what, what is it that you are and where are you coming from? Who are you? Uh, I think that you do not, I think if you sat and, and relaxed a little bit, you would know exactly who you are. You're just too busy at making too many strides in action-oriented outward ways that inwards, it's just no time to develop it. No time to develop it. And that absolutely needs to be developed in order to be successful on the outside. There's no connection here for that feminine to see that. They're not seeing, they're going, screw the inside, I'm going outside. But eventually they're only going to get so far to a certain level and they just can't develop anymore. Why? Because the inner development is not there. They have to be developed from the inside first in order to really hit their full potential, right? Because they're just stepping themselves aside and they're going for outward gratification, ego gratification. And I mean, although I've, I'm seeing the feminists being not too out of whack, they can, absolutely, and they do dive in there. But they're starting to see a balance there and they're starting to see when they should shove it in their back pocket and just zip it. So there's an awareness there, uh, you know, <laughs> a little more action to get it into the mode. But again, it's just working on loving who they are first and then the cycles and maybe that's part of is you're starting to look inward. Maybe, you know, this has got to uh, transgress over the seasons, but once you build on that, then also your success will, your prosperity will, everything will gain in height. So it's just a matter of going from there. So in your love sector, slow down, take the time, Use your compassion and realize who you are within so that you can go outward with it. And not only uh, th does that realization just help you feel more complete on your own, but it also, uh, it also um, perfectly manifests that companion that you need because I'm getting a sense for these women. Capricorns are going like, I just can't find it. I can't find a guy that just, none of them will do. And it's, it's because you really haven't figured out who you are within it. So if you don't know who you are, you can't get the, the great companion. Because do we have to have, is it a square peg or a round hole? What are we doing here? So that's really what it is, is self-actualization. So we have our cycles coming up. We're inspired. We have a sense of peace, longing. Uh, longing for that peace has finally come. And the prosperity is coming. So it's really good positive energy to bring you through the summer. And I feel like you're going to be making progress through the fall. So that's good. And on the love front, we just kind of have to, uh, you know, take some time out to invest in, in love in that way. And if you don't have it, then think about self-love. Because that's the best way to, to get it. I'm, it's like, 
not a cliche, but it's always said, it's always out there. But it, uh, you know, once you dive into it deeper, then you realize what it's what it's about. Now for the men, <clears throat> we started with ecstasy. So we have the male Capricorns diving into that. They're really fueling the sexual part of who they are. Um, the romance, the love, the satisfaction. Physical satisfaction, that's where we're coming from. So the next card we have is discovery. So they may be, they may be making some surprising discoveries out of this um, uh, ecstasy that's coming into the picture. I think they're they're gaining ecstasy, and the, and they may have only thought in in, in a two D way, like okay, here's the ecstasy, but there's some three D stuff happening. Meaning, um, there's discoveries coming from the romance that they're they're entangled in, or the ecstasy. I'm feeling it's not so much uh, a romantic, slow, steady. Like the Capricorn is earthy, so usually they have that going for them. But I don't feel. I feel like this is a very quick energy, very take advantage, take take charge, and and go with. But nonetheless, having some discoveries come out of this. Now we have in the corner here. We have chaos. So this is just sitting in this corner, looming. I'm gonna move on. <laughs> uh, I don't want to dwell on the chaos. Um, cycles. We had this in the last reading, if I remember correctly, for Capricorn uh, through the spring. That chaos or the cycles were really, I think, at the head of, of where they were going. So the cycles has moved down. They've seen what they are doing, um, and they're they're moving in that that is right above the chaos. So they might be in refusal to make a change because of that, or see how. Or maybe looking at it and going, no, and letting their ego drive the bus. And if they're doing that, that is exactly going to bring the chaos to the forefront. But the cycles have been viewed nonetheless. But I feel like there's no production in the way of uh, redemption through that. We have these cycles coming, and they're just, they're, they're notified of it, but they're not making the necessary changes needed to stay out of the chaos mindset. So we'll move on here. Communication. Communication is good. It's right above the, the ecstasy. I feel like that's the area that they're going to open that door in. I feel like mom's the word in every other area, life, work, you know, uh, and just the world in general. Uh, they couldn't give two craps about any of that. But uh, when it comes to a physical intimacy, then they're more willing to communicate that. They're more willing to go outward. So that can also help them with the cycles. This here, these two can work together. We've got a yellow, red, yellow. We're, that's a progression. So yellow, right? And the fiery. So as long as the communication stays good, we might even actually make some headway in the cycles. And I think maybe it'll start in the private area of these Capricorn males. They're going to be working from that center. For some reason, it is just where they see and where they evolve and where they they well it's it's the closest to the heart right so <clears throat> for them it's the one place that they can make the changes and the outer places they just feel uh, uh it's too much control to give others in a personal way they don't feel threatened as much as they do outwardly in a, in a professional way so that's where they're gonna uh <clears throat> that's where they're gonna lay their cards down say okay let's try this and they're going to do that. They're going to communicate, and they're going to discover through that communication the cycles. It's going to be thrown back in their face. And if they do not deal with these cycles, they are going to get thrown back into chaos. And then we go backwards. Now, the last card you end up with is inventiveness. Hmm. I feel like this, I might have to pull another here. <clears throat> I feel like this inventiveness can go either way. I mean, the guy's hitting a hammer in, in, in the direction of the, of the cycles and the chaos. He's leaning away from communication. So it seems like there's going to be an inventiveness in dealing with a lot of these, maybe these personal, um, these personal issues that he's discovering through communication. He has to be more inventive in order to to further his own agenda but what he doesn't realize is that his own agenda is not the only one on the table 
So as long as he still shoots for that, he's just going, he's just going to go up and then right back down. Because these cycles, that is a cycle. That's what's going on. Now, what he could do is he's in this ecstasy. That's what drives him. That's what's getting him into communicative mode. If he goes and he looks at his cycles through the communication process, and he uses his inventiveness to actually discover how he can make two people happy instead of just one, then he can get somewhere and he may also discover more along the lines, deeper down issues and be affected more profoundly in that way. I really don't see them going in that direction. What I see here is we have communication, there's effort, there seems to be a blind spot. It's almost like, you know what, this one's not ready to brew yet. We're not ready to take this one off the fire. It's just got to brew a little longer uh, in order for him to get it. Completely get it. He's not getting it. Um, I don't know, but there's some kind of a block, some kind of a timing issue, and that's that. So the chaos may not be rising to the forefront in the same matter. I think he's learning, and he's being inventive. But I think he's being inventive from his ego, not from compassion. That's the problem. It is ego-driven uh, inventiveness, and it's feeding the wrong side of things. So if that feels right to him, he's just going to keep uh, hitting the cycle. I feel like the chaos is starting to leave, but he's just going to keep going back in the cycle. He's just going to keep looping and going sideways. He's not going to gain momentum. But I feel driven to pull another card here and see if we can tip the scale. So action. Okay, so, I mean, if you put action and communication here, when I put it next to the inventiveness, his back is toward. So there's a, there's a refusal to see things properly, really, is what's going on here. And I think that's the block, a refusal to look at the facts, Jack, because there's facts here, just not wanting to look. But they're going to take action, nonetheless, and they're going to see that cycle, nonetheless, and it's going to hit them again, nonetheless. They're going to discover it. They're going to fall right back into it. They're just going to keep going. So they're, they're, they're really, I think, on, on a wave where they're just not understanding. They're not getting it. They're not understanding the cycle. But they're going to do it again, and they're going to do it again. And however long it takes to kick in is how long. Now, I'll give you a tip. Uh, when I see a cycle like this repeating itself, there can be uh, issues with drugs, alcohol, or things like that that fog your brain up to think clearly. And as long as that's involved, there's your cycle. And there's your cycle. It keeps repeating. So if you're a Capricorn male and you have this in your life, uh, you can bet that it will not be alleviated until, until that catalyst is taken out. If you have drug abuse or whatever, you deal with that stuff and then you move forward because um, you're really just uh, it, it, all the, the drug abuse, the alcohol abuse, even um, lighter, I'm saying lighter addictions, but things like sexual uh, addictions, uh, porn, things like that that just really uh, jam up your mind, it's just you, you won't have the clarity. It's not there. It removes it. It just takes it right out of the... So th that's the sense I'm getting here is there's really some physical attachment to body and mind that is just, there's no connection there. So as long as that happens, the cycle is there for them. They just have to, uh, I think they really know deep down what they have to do. They're just not in the mode where they want to do it. They just don't want to. They're not ready to surrender yet. So they're going to keep going. So sorry for the Capricorns and they they can be quite stubborn and cantankerous and I mean that is just a, a trip that they're on so the, they're going to be action oriented they're going to feel valid in that but it's on the wrong side it's on the wrong side of things they're going in the wrong direction um, they're getting a lot of ecstasy in this corner here and they're communicating which is good but they're not it's, it's like there's a missing thing here the inventiveness is going off in the wrong direction it's going towards the chaos not towards the ecstasy. So we need to bring that back. Then you can keep the ecstasy a little longer. 
if, if you go off in the direction that you're headed, it seems like unavoidable. You're going to go off in the direction, you lose, you lose the opportunity for ecstasy, and it all just falls apart. But you are discovering things along the way. You're just being more sh shut off, <clears throat> more walled up, more... And the funny thing is, is you're just, you don't care. You're just ready to act on the opposite of what your, your instinct is really telling you. And you may be misdirected in that way. So that is going to continue. I hate to say it, but it's going to continue until uh, that, like I say, that catalyst, whatever it is. Maybe a mental thing that you need help with. It may be a physical thing you need help with. Maybe alcohol, drugs, or anything like that. And until that is tackled, there really w will be no opportunity for you to change it around because it just is what is needed to take out of the equation in order to see straight. So that's kind of saddening. I, I haven't got anything kind of toxic like that through a reading, so it's, it's, it's sad. But nonetheless, that's something that can be conquered. And these Capricorns, you know, maybe that's the challenge they need to just uh, jump on something. So if you're guided to this, I hope you take note because it's just really where the universe wants to put you, but you really have to do some work, and it's, it's not going to be easy uh, dealing with addictions. I don't even know myself how that can be, you know, because um, there's some paths here that can be quite deep. Anyway, for the love and uh, sex factor here, uh, the first card I pulled was the Nine of Wands, and... That's really kind of like the getting to know you uh, card on an intimate level. So again, dealing with the ecstasy, you know, you may have a new partner here that you're getting to know on a physical level. So you're really tending to each other and everything's good and, and um, you know, there seems to be an equality here. You're both sitting at the same level, looking at the same things and dealing, uh, shooting from the same hip, if you want to put it that way. The next card I get is the Four of Swords. Now, this, knowing the Capricorn, um, the earthy energy, they can have a, a tendency to be overpowering. And the Four of Swords is really the beginning stages of that. So you may be having a getting to know you uh, physically. And then um, the man is just trying to overrun the woman somewhat. So it seems like uh, there's a little bit of taking charge in the bedroom here to a point where it may even be damaging um, to, the other per to, your, to the other person. And I feel like um, in couples there may be a newness here where you are actually um, setting the stage. You're starting to feel comfortable, so now you're coming with the real uh, physical side of where you come from, but it might be overwhelming for your partner. The next card I get is the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups, this is interesting. She's really, there's a woman here that is being courted. The man is at her feet trying to get things going, and she's kind of disinterested. So there's a disconnection here. So it seems, you know, if we look at the progression, you may have uh, a getting to know you, um, like for new couples, I feel this strongly, um, a getting to know you physically intimate. And I feel like this is the strong point. This is where this man feels most potent. And um, it comes and advances to a stage where he's getting more comfortable, showing more of himself, and the woman is disinterested at that point. So there may be a bit of a overpowerment or too much in charge or uh, too much out of flux in the sexual compatibility. Sexual compatibility, we were okay uh, as long as the honeymoon stage was still there. And now we're starting to remove the blinders, so to speak. And things are getting a little uh, bit off. I don't see like, uh, you know, as being um, completely disgusted. But I feel like it's just like, hmm, is this for me? Am I enjoying myself? Is this what I want? Uh, does this please me on all levels? That kind of thing. Kind of like a second guessing. And it's weird because in the water here, in the fountain, there's kind of like a face. And it's almost like she may be thinking about, uh, you know, with her head not quite in the game. She may be thinking about a past love and the man's trying to, to really work his magic and she's quite a, not really all there. Not really all there. 
And um, I mean, he's trying to, it's almost like he's giving her flowers or something there um, and trying to, but she's just really not even looking at him. So she's, she's off in the distance. So for those Capricorn men, just watch yourself in the bedroom. You know, you need to know who you are. Absolutely. But you got to watch for what you, you have going uh, on a physical partnership. You may have a mismatch here. And because of that, you have to be careful where you sit. Where, where, or where you expose, rather. If you go all out and this is not their thing, they're going to be quite, um, I wouldn't say shocked, I wouldn't say whatever. They're just going to be a little bit disinterested. They're going to be like, that's not floating my boat. So you might have to go on the, on the softer edge of things here and not be so aggressive or domineering. I think that's really what's, um, uh, make it more of a 50-50 split and you might have a little more of an edge there to keep things moving. But for the Capricorn singles, I think you may have some opportunities to meet and greet, but I, I feel like you got to be aware of how aggressive you are on the dating scene. Um, these singles may be coming off a little too strong and turning, turning them away. You know, you might get a lot of uh, non-connections. You may go out on a couple dates and it just doesn't hook up. So that's kind of the scenario I get with this. Is like there's a, a dating scene but um, there's a little bit of an edge here that's turning them off so they don't want to continue. And then for the couples, there may have been a situation where uh, within the relationship they're needing a little bit of soothing and then the, the male takes over and he becomes a little maybe insensitive in the bedroom and then it becomes a problem for the woman and she's maybe not coming forth with all the information. So keep in mind here the nine of wands is sitting right on top of the communication. So the beginning when everybody's getting on equal the communication is keeping them floating. Then the further we go away from the communication guess what your cycles come back and so does the the distance with the woman. So there's there's a bit of a cycle going on there it's right in your face right there it's happening right now over the summer and you need to look at it even if you don't want to you have to look at it you have to see you have to go into those things that you don't want to hear you don't want to talk about those are the issues so in the beginning the communication was there the communicate I can almost see this the communication stops and, and you start harboring she may start harboring you may start harboring and then you start getting into your mode. Uh, things that you need to change in order to advance, you say, no, screw that. So then you go and then you start separating and moving. So the cycle here is to change that point where you stop the communication and you start your cycle. So this is really what's going on here. And, it's, and again, that's just love and sex, but in the whole area, it's all there. It's all in your life. It's all uh, Capricorn. It's encompassing everything. And the action you're taking is not valid because your inventiveness is going with ego and not with compassion. Bottom line. So there it is. So anyway, sorry. <laughs> it's a little bit of a hard, hard nut to crack here. And I feel like it's not over yet for these Capricorns. I think they got a, a bit of a ride to go. But the more that they spend with themselves, the more times they spend with themselves, and not trying to integrate too much into, I think the more they'll figure out. So they just have to have the patience and the time to do that and to um, to want to do that, really, is what I get. So, so that's the Capricorns for summer. So for the feminines, we have new beginning, hope, and a lot of good energy and peace. Prosperity is coming, but two, them two are looking, their cycles are coming. And they're, they're flipping through. So a little bit of a similarity there between the males and the females. Their cycles are spinning. But I see the females um, seeing a little more. They're being a little more mindful than the males. A very close energy. But they're being a little more mindful and a little more picky on the details. They're picking them out going, yeah, that's something I... And then the men are, are just breezing by it. Like I said, I'm getting a sense here that there's a reason for that. Whether it's a dependency on something or just um, a lack of, of wanting to focus and figure it out. They don't care. They're just fine up until now. But the universe is really saying, no, we can't stay in this cycle. I mean, you can and you will for as long as you want. But we want you out of it. We want you to advance. We want more for you. 
because you're really limited in what you're going to get from this point of view. So hopefully that helps some of you get out of that. Or at least illuminates it enough to speed it up a little bit because that's really what's going on is these cycles are coming through for these Capricorns and they just have to stop the hamster wheel and get off and go, I've been in this same spot for how long and I'm not going anywhere. What the fuck is with this thing? What is going on? So that's really what it is. They're spinning, 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 and they're all in the action mode, and they're going, and they're going, and they're thinking they're making progress, but they're really not getting anywhere. But the women are starting to 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 get more inspiration to see. And like I say, there's something blocking the men, but they got to figure out what that is, I guess, on their own. So in the meantime, have a good, decent summer. Um, it's going to kind of fly by, I think, for the Capricorns. It's going to be one minute's here, one minute's gone. Oh, I have all these plans. And even though, like I said, that hamster wheel, it was spinning. But they're just puffing and puffing and not really getting to two millimeters past where they were because they were just in a loop. So hopefully that ends in the fall. Hopefully there's new, there's new energy coming in for the females, so it's got to transfer to the, the males. So hopefully by... Uh, fall, they're coming into some realizations and they're bringing it for the males. That's that's my hope. Hopefully that works. So anyway, for the Capricorns, have fun, take care, have a great summer, and we'll see you in the fall. Bye.